guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be, once again, my blind date with my bookshelves. Like I said, I did want to make this a monthly video, so here's me trying to do December's at the very last minute, but that's fine. It's fine. Uh, so once again, I put the call out on Twitter. This time, though, it was for people to give me random coordinates to try and point me to different parts of my bookshelves so I can talk about five different books with you guys. And the very first one of those coordinates is 5 and 40. Okay, so the first set of coordinates led me to The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I have not actually read this, so let me tell you a little bit of what it's about. This follows Quentin who gets accepted into Break Bill's Academy? I think it's called Academy? I don't really know. Um, essentially, he gets to test to be allowed into a magical university, and Quentin is accepted, um, but he spent his entire life obsessed with this set of books that talks about a land, a magical land called Fillory. Think like Narnia, in my opinion, is the vibe that I got off of it. I guess I should say, I know a little bit about this more so than I usually would, because while I haven't managed to finish the first book, I did watch the first at least two seasons of the TV show that's on sci-fi, and I really, really liked it. Actually, I would say that I liked the TV show more than I liked The Magician's book, because I made it, I don't know, I made it maybe like a quarter of the way through. I didn't really DNF it, I do want to finish reading this at some point, it just was not doing it for me at the time. So anyway, you follow Quentin, he's obsessed with these books about a land called Fillory that's full of magic, and then one day he gets accepted into a magical academy, which is really cool, they do a whole bunch of different hand motions and stuff, it's pretty awesome. Um, but even then, he's not fully satisfied with life, you follow him in a cast of characters as they deal with magic and learning magic and finding out different things about the land of Fillory as they learn that it actually does really exist. That is by far not a comprehensive overview of what The Magicians is actually about, um, but I actually encourage you to go and check out Q&TG's review of this series because not only is it absolutely hilarious, it is by far, because they actually read the books, way better than anything I can tell you about them. So like I said, I do want to read this someday, hopefully, maybe even this year, I don't know, we'll see, I'm not gonna hold myself to that, let's be honest. Um, but yes, so the first book was The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I will also say that I think generally the TV show gets a better reception than the book because Quentin in the book is an insufferable ass. He's kind of misogynistic. We'll just, we'll leave it at that. The next set of coordinates on my list is 1 and 22, so you guys get to watch me try and reach for my romance shelf. The next set of coordinates led me to Final Scream by Lisa Jackson. I genuinely can't remember if I've read this or not. I guess I should mention, I've talked in the past on my channel how I used to read, and I still do read a lot of romance, and Lisa Jackson was one of those authors that I read a lot of when I was like a teenager and so on. Um, she writes purely like romantic suspense novels, and I guess sometimes just suspense novels. I don't know if there's necessarily always a thread of romance in them. Um, she's got an entire series that just follows two detectives, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, however, the majority of her books are romantic suspense, and you usually follow some kind of, like, serial arsonist, serial rapist, serial killer, some type of thing like that. Generally, one of the love interests in the story ends up becoming a victim or under the sights of whoever the bad guy is, and there's, you know, dire straits, lots of danger, and all of that makes them fall in love. It sounds tropey, I know, but I am a sucker for a good romantic suspense story. I have talked about Karen Rose on my channel multiple times, and as far as romantic suspense goes, I would say hands down Karen Rose is my favorite author in that regard. But Lisa Jackson also was one of the first romance authors that I ever got into, and romantic suspense specifically. I think that she's the author who introduced me to the genre as a whole. So this book follows a journalist named Cassidy Buchanan, and I believe her entire family was killed in an arson fire like 17 years ago, and the person who is suspected of setting this fire is a local troublemaking kid named Brig. That's a ridiculous name. 
I realize that as I'm saying it aloud, but whatever. So Brig McKenzie was accused of setting it, but I don't think he was ever actually convicted, it was just a suspicion, and nobody has ever actually been arrested for this crime that killed her entire family. And now all of a sudden, there are more fires and this arsonist is popping back up again and everybody is in danger and I'm going to assume that Cassidy and Brig fall in love and he's not really the guy who set the fires. Like I said, I don't remember if I've read this at all, but I forever will love Lisa Jackson's books just because of the fact that they introduced me to romantic suspense and so they will always hold a special place in my heart. I will say, even though I don't remember if I've read this one specifically, I do have two that are my favorite by her that I would recommend to anybody and that is The Night Before and The Morning After. Absolutely go look them up if you get a chance and you're interested in this genre at all because of all of the books that I've read by Lisa Jackson, those two are the ones whose stories stuck with me the longest. The next set of coordinates is 5 and 28. We are on a roll because I have not read this next book yet either. That is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and I am insanely interested in this, obviously I bought it, but I really don't know all that much about it. I know that it's like all under the Witchland saga, like, title. Um, there's a whole series of these books, and I believe there's a female-female romance. I could be totally wrong about that. But in this world, there are different kinds of witches, such as truth witches, which is the ability to make somebody tell the truth, I believe. And there's another kind called thread witches. I don't know what they do. Those are just the two that are mentioned on the back of the book, and those are apparently the two main characters' abilities. Um, that is the extent of my knowledge about it, guys, but really, do you need to know any more? I mean, the cover is gorgeous, the premise is really interesting, and apparently there's a fantastic romance in it, so those are my reasons for being excited for reading it. I just really need to move it up my TBR so I can finally hop on this bandwagon. 2 and 34. Continuing the theme of this video, the very next book was Slay by Brittany Morris. I, again, don't know too much about this other than the fact that it follows a teenager called Kira Johnson and I believe she creates like a video game that is for the black community and suddenly somebody has started killing people involved with the game and they're like blaming it on that video game which is absolutely ridiculous but that's a whole other story and suddenly she's like trying to figure out who did this and try and save like her life's work in the process i think is what this is about i love a good like virtual reality game i don't actually know if it's virtual reality but i do love video games and i love the entire concept behind this and i saw this while I was shopping for books a few months ago, and I know everybody was talking about it at the time, so I am very late to the game, but I can't wait to pick this up because it sounds so, so good, and I think it was getting some really good reviews too, so yeah, I can't wait to read this. 3 and 77. All right, we finally have a book that I have read, and I've talked about The Fifth Sorcerers before on my channel, so I will link the video up above. I think it was in my five favorite fantasy reads. So I do think that this is underrated. However, let me back up. I read this book when I was in middle school or high school, and I adored it then. Um, I have since gone on Goodreads and like apparently this is not a very well-loved book in the fantasy community, and I guess I can understand that. I read this before I was, um, really aware of the tropes that a lot of fantasy falls into, and so yes, I do believe that it is probably fairly tropey, and that's fine with me. Uh, this book has a super nostalgic background for me, and I guess I should tell you what it's about. So you follow Prince Tristan of Eutratia, and he does not want to be king. However, on his 30th birthday, he is going to be crowned king anyway. Unfortunately, before that can happen, right in the middle of the, I don't know if it's like while they're in the middle of the coronation or like in the party immediately before that or whatever, they are attacked by an ancient enemy of his country and his entire family and pretty much everybody that he knows is horrifically murdered. He is then on the run from the genetically modified warriors of a group of sorceresses that were banished from the country I think 300 years ago and sent across the sea to never return, however they have returned and they now want to murder him. 
Uh, that's probably not a very good description, but honestly, I love this book so much, and I, it, it could just be nostalgia for me, but I do feel like if I were to go back and read it again, I would love it just as much, and I do highly recommend it to anybody who that remotely sounded interesting to. Just give it a shot. Alright guys, that was it for my second ever blind date with my bookshelves video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I would really like to keep doing these. I really like going through my bookshelves and being reminded in a very blatant way of how many books I have that I have not read yet that I really do need to get to. So that is it for me today, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye!